A child prodigy who lived up to all the expectations. His playing style is not for the faint-hearted and he's got a personality to match. No matter what your opinion of him, a tournament just doesn't feel complete without the thrills his games deliver. I'm very happy to have with me four times US champion, world number seven, Hikaru Nakamura. It's good to be here again. Again, yes, indeed, Hikaruna, you won the Trade Wire Chibrolla Chess Festival in 2015 and 2016. You seem to really like it here. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, in general, it's just a very nice atmosphere. The, there are a lot of different players across uh, all different levels. Um, the conditions are quite nice, and, and it's January after all, so in, in most places it is winter. Um, and while it, times can get cold and windy, I mean, for the most part, the weather's pretty mild here, so it's always, uh, it's always a pleasure being here. It's, it's, it's very important because it is the first turn of the year, so it's good to try and get off on a uh, you know, to the right start. So, um, for me, uh, things seem to work out here. But of course, you know, things can always change and change in a heartbeat. So we'll see if it continues. Absolutely. And you seem to enjoy open tournaments a lot. In fact, and a lot of uh, your colleagues and. Uh players out of the top 10 seem to struggle with it. So what mm -hmm. do you think works for you? Um, I think in general, uh, I'm perhaps a bit more creative than some of the other top players. And I think when you're playing against people who are not all in the top 10, um, you get you get a lot more games where you have different openings, a lot of people who have different styles. And I think it just tends to, to help and fit fit the way, the way that I play. So overall, um, I think it's it's definitely nice. I enjoy playing people who play uh, various openings, not all, all you know the same Berlins or, or things like that. So uh, yeah, it just seems to work for me. And it also seems like uh, the whole U.S. chess education seems to help where you've got this attitude that you've got to win at all costs and draws are not going to get you anywhere. Yeah, I mean, I, th I think uh, that, that helps somewhat, but I think in the past it, it helped me more than it does now. I mean, because when, when you play at the top level quite a bit, you also have to be a little bit more uh, pragmatic and practical and not take as many chances. So it's a mix of both worlds. But yeah, certainly I think growing up in the U.S. it did help because uh, there are moments when kind of you are a little bit less objective and I think in open tournaments um, that's definitely a strength. Right, in fact just looking at your style of play you do seem very influenced by Kasparov. There's this certain sense of uh, ability to take risks and fearlessness. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I think at least growing up, the openings I played, I, pl I played the Sicilian Idol for example, which uh, he, he was one of the big pioneers of it. Um, uh, and the King's Indian as well, which of course he played quite a bit back in the old days. So. Um, yeah, I mean, the style-wise, I think I'm probably quite similar to him. But, you know, there, there are other players, too, that I'm a big fan of. And, you know, I, I do like Kramnik games, for example. And I do tend to play some positional chess as well at times. So it's just a big mix. And I think in this day and age, you have to be pretty versatile and play all different styles. One can feel that there have been certain changes and you seem to be a lot more stable from the aggressive, explosive nature of play that you had before. It seems to be a lot more stabilized. So is that something... Uh, is that a journey that you've been working on? Do you feel it? I mean, I think it's. I think that's naturally what happens as you become stronger and you play against the best players in the world. I mean, it's always a learning curve. So, um, when you start out, it depends what you can get away with, what you can't get away with, and kind of learning, you know, figuring out how to how to understand what what works and what doesn't. And when you play against the best players in the world, I mean, you can try certain things, but you have to be um, much more practical. And I think that's that's it's a natural evolution. It's how things evolve um, for for all the top players. I think. And it seems to be working well. Yeah, I mean, I've I've been in the top ten for quite a while now. Um, obviously, you know, I, I hope to get back to the Canada's tournament, maybe compete for the World Championships. So uh, there there are a lot of things still that I would like to accomplish. But again, you take it one tournament at a time. And and right now, uh, you know, I'm here in Gibraltar, so hopefully I can do well and maybe win this tournament for a third time in a row.